Okay, Rich, what are we playing this week then? So this week I thought we'd play one of the most important games that was ever released, really, especially in the 1980s. So we're going to be doing The Legend of Zelda, the NES. So this is an action-adventure game, like I said, one of the most important, and it came out in 1986 for the Famicom Disk System and was ported to the NES a year later for the cartridge. Have you got experience with the game at all? Yeah, I've played it quite a bit, but... I've never really got too far into it. I never yeah. had the map that came with the game, so it was a bit difficult to get going. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously a lot of people sort of put this game on, they just wander around, mm. not entirely sure what to do. But uh, like Chris says, we got a map that came with the game originally. I know the game quite well, but uh, this will help you out a bit, Big I imagine. Time, yeah. So you ready to go for it? Let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> so it's sort of interesting at the beginning the uh, the sword isn't given to you straight away and i think you'll remember in adventure on the 2600 it was like this as well so you would start on the screen below the screen that had the sword in it mm. and obviously back at this sort of stage a lot of people wouldn't really understand the concept of improving your character so this this explains that to you immediately really if you think about it yeah it shows the player that he can build on the character there may be areas that you know things that he can't do at the beginning that he may be able to do later on very 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 it's good actually because we've done quite a lot of the major action adventure games from the early 80s and mid 80s now as well so you've got quite a bit of context so obviously we've done Fairlight, which was one of the major ones prior to this. We've done Attic Attack as well, didn't we? Yep. Uh, we've done Impossible Mission and oh, Pajama Rama. Lo loads love of them. all of them. Ah, crap. So it's the first dungeon here. Dungeons have, uh, they have got two items in them. They've got a map, which brings up a map on there. And they've got a compass, which shows you the enemy's position. The yeah. final boss, not all the enemies. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant, yeah, the final enemy. Yeah, the only action-adventure games I think we've really missed are some of the ones on the ColecoVision from slightly before this, because there's uh, Venture, which is another precursor to these types of games. There's also a game called Alcazar as well, which um, had some similarities to the setup of this. Mm. You know, you've got like an overworld with these little um, flip screen dungeons in it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's sort of more like castles in that game. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a ColecoVision and they cost too much money now, so unfortunately we just can't really, we can't really do those. Unless anybody wants to donate <laughs> one. Yeah. So it's a secret clue. Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm r being a bit mm. roughshod. Yeah, you started off sort of being nonchalant a little bit, didn't you? Right, while they're doing that, then they're vulnerable. Shit. Oh. That's what you need. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Fuck you! You boomerangs, I have a... Oh, oh that's good as well. you got um, you got, got boomerangs, boom. yeah. Oh, do you have an lim unlimited supply of boomerangs? Yeah. How do we change it? That's it. Start. Enter that. There we go. Hey! Dragon! Take that dragon! No, oh, come on, okay. I'm going to go down. you got to hit it normally now. That won't stun it. Oh, dang it. Now I've got to get close. Take that. Uh, oh, yeah. damn it. Didn't go down far enough. That's yeah. it. We get a heart container. And a piece of the Triforce. Right. You like see, a, um, there's oh, like, yeah. Joe, that question mark off Yeah. Joe. That's what I was about to say, actually. You see, it sort of marks down places to check out, doesn't it, a little yeah. bit? Yeah, so as Chris said, there's like a question mark on the map here. What? Um, this is why I never got any far in this game, <laughs> I'm looking for a proper wall. Well, it's just a heart container, so it makes it easier, but it's not actually required to do the game or anything. Hmm. And obviously, because there's a question mark on there, you just bomb everywhere hmm. in here trying to find something. I believe this is the this is the easternmost secret, but you know that dude told us that. Yeah, you go in there. Oh, hello, what? The fuck? <laughs> How the hell are you meant to find that? He said just go to the easternmost point of the map or something in there. Okay. Hundred rupees, that's useful. Yeah. <laughs> 
That puts us in reasonable stead now, doesn't it? Mm. Diddly diddly diddly. And again, like we said in the um, Ghosts and Goblins video, the, the NES hardware could handle scrolling very, very easily, smooth scrolling, but it only did it in one direction. So as soon as you sort of needed to scroll in multiple ways, it, ha it had more problems until later on when they worked out the best way of doing it. Hence the, the way this scrolls with bursts, you know, in four yeah. different directions. In fact, do you remember um, Wizards and Warriors? That had really smooth multi-directional scrolling in it, didn't it? Yes. Uh, that was made by Rare. I but don't they, think it affects it too much, you know. No, I think it works fine. In fact, in some respects, it helps it with the map, doesn't it? Because yeah. you have distinct screens instead of it, you know, wandering around. Yeah. I need to go up now. But um, yeah, later NES games, the cartridges actually had a little chip on them that helped the scrolling as well a lot of the time. Check that place out. I'm not sure what it is. Like this shop. Shop. Buy the candle. Okay. We'll need that in a little while, I think. Cool. This can be used to burn bushes, and it also sort of lights dark rooms, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, they can't be done. You have to hit them when they're not facing you. And the boomerang never does anything with them. Don't turn around. You can kill them with bombs as well. Yeah, I'm not going to waste bombs, though. What are you doing? <laughs> really? Come on, man. Right, this guy's got to be close to death now. Probably just, yeah, more bombs. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the raft. Fuck off, bats. Go put that in my pocket. <laughs> I have not been killed by a blob monster. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Come the on. good thing about dying, if you do die, is that we'll be able to save the game at that stage. No. Oh, you're a golden bear. Come on, this way. Yes. You can die anyway in a second. Oh, oh damn. You gotta... No! <laughs> yes. you got to fight the boss. No I'm going to surprise you. I think this is the one that has four heads. And sort of like a cross. So it's got a body in the middle, one like, you know, a head yeah, on each yeah. side. So it's a Hydra. And um, it moves around the screen. And I think. Oh, that's one. For, that's something at least. You, you've got to really get the bomb to hit all four of them at once, and then it'll be easy. Yeah, it's this one. Do they shoot? Yes, they shoot. Great. That's it. Nice. <laughs> That's right. First time, one bomb. Uh, I had to explain what you had to do. Right. So, all right, we're back. We're making sure we yeah. saved it. So Go now to we're back. To, yeah. Get a sword. Um, yeah. I could do that. Yeah. I want to get my health back as well. There's these poles here give you your health back. Okay. What's on the way, isn't it? Where are we? We're here now. Yeah. Right up, up, up. There's some other stuff I can pick up on the way. Right up, you? right up, up. When can we use the raft? I think we have to use it now, actually. What's the uh, meat? The meat's used for a puzzle later on in the game. Do we need it then? That one, yeah. So now what can we deflect with this shield? I think everything now. That's the Even best. those fireballs? Not sure. I don't really want to try. What, I a could... half self you might as well? Yeah, yeah right. nice. Okay. And there's a fairy. And there's the uh, fairy that gives you your health back. This is what Metroid needs, actually. <laughs> Because Metroid does the same thing, so you get a health upgrade after health upgrade. Yeah. And when you die, you lose it all, but like the last, all of it, but like the last bit you start with. Uh -huh. And you have to just farm health to get back up to full power, even when it can be like mass, you know, right at the end of the game, yeah, yeah. when there's just piles of stuff there. Level four, yeah. That's where you need the raft from the law. Uh, that's what those little white things in the water are. I always wondered. So we've got the raft now. So these little points here. Allow you to travel across. Ah. Hopefully, we don't miss any items because that could be a bit annoying. Is there it? eight dungeons? One for each piece yeah, of travel? Yeah, I think so. There might be a ninth final level oh. once you've got all of them. Jesus. 
It's a great sort of jingle as well, isn't it? So recognisable. That and do 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 do. There it is. <laughs> I don't know why I need a ladder. Can't I just put the raft over the gap? <laughs> it's not a ladder. You can't climb up a raft. Yeah, it's more like just using it to... <laughs> oh, that's what the raft is for. Okay. Ladder this is, is what the ladder's for, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see what you mean. That's the union, isn't it? <laughs> Got to use what the union say. I'm gonna die. Am I doing the level? Or yeah, you? no, you're doing the level. Yeah. Little bump in the road here we've had. Never mind. Killed one. Well, you haven't. Yeah, get the heart. Dee. Right. Done. It might be an idea to go actually to the far right of the map because there's another. Actually, there's loads of heart pieces we can get because we got the um, we got the ladder now, haven't we? Yes, we do. So you see these sections here. Go head over to those. They get the arrows. You don't have to worry about them running out, but they use up one coin every time you use an arrow. Well, that's not bad actually. That means yeah. we've got hundred oh, arrows. Rupee rather. Right, just keep going up. I think one of the old ladies tells you to do this if you pay her, but I'm not 100% sure. But regardless, somebody tells you to just keep walking up. How many times? Just keep doing it until it works. It might be like four or five, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, I think this is five. Have a look. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm net up. <laughs> <laughs> Those rabbits are quite interesting as well, actually, because in the, the Famicom actually had a microphone in it, and if you shouted into the microphone on the controller, it would actually kill those things. Huh. But obviously ours, um, to save on costs, they took the microphone out of the Western releases of the NES. I'll tell you what, actually, I just remembered what? the bomb bags in this dungeon. Nice. Fine! <laughs> oh, you can't get to it. <laughs> we could have been stuck there for quite a while. Yes. If you move it one square at a time to the left. Oh, fuck me. Uh, well. We should look for a, um, a tunic upgrade, maybe after this because they are doing you a lot of damage aren't they mm. I'm not sure if we got the money for it though oh, shit. I'm getting quite adept at killing these though <laughs> oh, cock cock I'd uh, say it I had to say it oh you're kidding me he never touched me let's try and get this bit done at least they will have the bomb upgrades there and I have to do it again oh that's a shame all right, I'll continue. I think you should just leave. See if we can pick up the tunic upgrade. Okay, some new one. Good. <laughs> oh no, it's too much. <laughs> What's the ring do for us? That's the tunic upgrade. The ring? Yeah, it just powers you up. Uh, you to how are we going to get 250? Can I just can we just earn that from killing things? Try burning these things. What these three? Yeah, whenever you go past something, just burn it, just in case. I don't think they expect you to have this many heart containers. You could. Oh, that's it. Good. Right, give us something decent. Pay me for the door. Oh no! No <laughs> charge. <laughs> that just cost us money, you bellend. <laughs> Well, it happens sometimes. What door repair? Do you mean because I burn his bush? Yeah. 
Go and set him on fire. That's just the one. <laughs> you can collect a lot of money here, by the way. If I get him low and then that's like there it is. Good. <coughs> yes, best sword in the game now. Yeah, I think you're right. You prick. Hmm. Let's see, 60 here. Oh. <laughs> that is 250, that's cool. Do -do -do -do. So now I take less damage, yeah? Yeah. Oh, how, how, how hardy are you bastards now? Not that hardy. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. They were doing two damage to you at yeah, time as well, now they're doing one. Come here, fairy. Oh, bitch. Oh. Come here, bitch. Oh, jeez. Uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, this is a flute. Right, so it was it's in this section somewhere, the bomb power up. It's decent, isn't it? This is gonna be a clue. Oh, it costs a hundred. Well Do you remember anything of this game? Seriously. There's a lot of stuff to remember. <laughs> I've played this before. I know where I'm going. Did, 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 well, I do kind of know where I'm I didn't know that it was on this level and vaguely where it was. I just forgot that it cost 100 bleeding coins. You want to go to the other meat guy now because you'll get four along the way. That's where one of the dungeons is, though. That's a dungeon, is it? Yeah. And actually, a lot of people complain about this dungeon. Why? Saying how you're supposed to find it, kind of thing. Well, it does look a bit suspect. Yeah. Can you go in the dungeon come out of it so you can go on the other side? Yeah. I think that's the thing that I would say with it, actually, in defence, is that this bush here is in the way, isn't it? Mm. So if you want to traverse this screen here, you're going to shoot that bush anyway at some stage yeah. because it just makes sense. So, in essence, the most cryptic puzzle in the game, there, you know, there's a reason why you would do that anyway. Common sense. Out of bombs. Oof. But that's okay, leave the heart just in case. Nice. Is it the meat? Oh, okay. That was hard, not. What's the point in the secret entrance? Dunno. Have we done every room? It's possible that I've missed something there, Chris, but I d I don't know. Grumble, grumble. Okay. Oh, uh, go back. Why? Can't Why I kill him? No. I can't kill him. Tell me more. <laughs> go up, back up again. Grumble, grumble. Now what? What do you think that signifies? He's angry. What have I got that can placate him? The oh, meat! <laughs> this is one that caused me problems. Right. There you go, mate. I think his stomach's grumbling. Right. Obviously, when I came to him, I didn't have the meat, and then I spent ages trying to work it out, but it, it's work outable oh, anyway. He's the boss. Oh, it's just a dragon. Okay. Actually, what am I doing? Hmm? Why am I getting close? And it is all yours, buddy. Will we stop it now? Yeah. So we're going to call it a day here. We've done quite well, really, haven't we? I think we've only got two dungeons to go. Mm -hmm. So we're going to come back next week. But obviously, you're just going to see a transition. And we'll be back in five seconds. So see ya. See ya. So we're back again. We nearly completed it last week. Just two dungeons to go. Yep. So are you ready then? Let's go for it. Let's get it done. Let's finish it off. Right. I'm thinking maybe I should have checked up this dungeon prior to day, today, but... <laughs> That's cheating. I think it's been an awful long time since I've done this level. That's actually like a book of power or something. What does it do? It powers up the wand, which we don't actually have. <laughs>
I don't think there's going to be anything there. Uh, probably not. Ah, uh, okay, I'll, I'll shut up now. Dragon time. Mm. Bombs in it. I could do. It's quite slow down. down here. Can't deal with four of them. I'm not sure that did anything. Yeah, that I think so too. Stop killing your heads. Oh, <laughs> piece of heart. Nice. We have got full hearts. You know, I do wonder if... Um, if this game was inspired by Attic Attack at all sometimes. And Sable Wolf, you know, the Rares 2 Spectrum games. There would be complete speculation, but there is some sort of similarities, isn't there? There's a bit of there. evidence to support your theory, isn't there? It's just, when you think about the way that it's sort of a non-linear action game where you get keys and open doors and you have items that kill certain enemies as well and such. I think there was an item in Attic Attack you require to kill Frankenstein's monster, didn't yes. there? I think you need a spanner or something. And in this game you need um, you need a silver arrow to kill Ganon, which I'm pretty sure is in the, the last dungeon, so we haven't oh, missed it. <laughs> but obviously, um, Adventure on the Atari 2600 is definitely a... That's, that's definitely an influence on this game. I don't oh, think that can be doubt. argued. In fact, I was thinking the other day about... Um, do you remember the level where you, in adventure where you can't get anywhere without the bridge so you have to take a bridge and then you sort of bridge a gap with it and it lets you go past the section and then this has exactly the same thing yeah. yeah it sort of reminds me of the ladder in this game where you're bridging gaps with the ladder to get across you know and of course the other thing actually you just remind me um attic attack has that you you find segments of a key don't you and then you build the key out of the segments to do the games right mm -hmm. last level we need to make sure we get the um, the arrows, the silver arrows in this as well. Okie dokie. Okay. There's bombs that destroy the top and bottom walls there. Ah, good point. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, give me. That's right. Oh, you fucking compass. Okay. Oh. I was doing so well then. Yeah. Uh, right. So I'm going back to the teleporty kind of place, aren't I? In the yeah. Middle. Which way? So we're in that room there. Mm. Up. Through. Left or right? I say up. Go for it. Patra has the map. Oh, fuck you. I don't think this, I think it's a dead end. I don't think you can do the top wall, can you? I'm not sure. No, no I can't. Right, okay, we know there's nothing there then. Uh, we've got no keys though. And we already bombed both of those, didn't we? Yep. So we're stuck, because we've got no keys. Hundred. Oh, we, we can get, get two. two in there. That's what we wanted, wasn't it? Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> Piss off, I'm stuck. <laughs> for the wall, Fuck for the wall. you. Oh, two hearts, two hearts. <laughs> oh, it's full heal, that's good. Have you got another one? Yeah. We've got a blue one though. This stuff gave me nothing, didn't it? Oh, Jesus, another dead end. What about pushing these things though? Because that has happened before. Or right. not. Well done. God, that could have taken. Oh, us the a silver while. arrows! That could have taken us a while if we'd gone back from there. Yeah. Now we have to go and fight Ganon. Go right, this is right next to the boss. This is where I said we were. The boss is right below us now. Can you bomb that? Yeah. Probably got to go around, haven't we? But there's no door leading up or left. Look at the map. You have little... All right, stop looking at the map. All the other rooms don't have a... Yeah, the bomb. So, where was it from here, then? Was it left and up, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, that's already on, isn't it? Yeah. No. Right. So the bomb here is a teleporter room. Oh, it's a teleporter room. We're getting there, viewers. <laughs> Bugger off. Fucking homing rocks. Homing rocks. We still didn't find the skull head, did we? No. That's all. Oh, worry. the shape of the map is that a skull? Yeah, it is. Skull's eye. Did it say the skull's eye? Yeah. The skull's eye is where he is. Right. But it doesn't join to anything. Yeah. If this is symmetrical, then we've got two rooms here and one room here. Yeah. We haven't got the map yet. <laughs> is there a map in this one? He said the map was being held by a boss or something, didn't he? Yes. Oh, I'm glad to see holes. Yep, that sound was a boss. This must have the map. Right, it's good at some of these stupid things. He's going to have the map, and it's not going to tell us anything that we don't <laughs> already know. Oh, maybe it will. Hold on, there's many more rooms we haven't explored then. Holy shit, dude, press start. Look how many more fucking rooms there are. Prick. <laughs> Give me more bits. Another key. Okay, so... We didn't need to buy keys. No. We the just outer edges to, are going to give keys. Just need to do the outer bits. Mm. Um... So, so that's the old of the right hand side done now. Yep. I believe. We haven't done all the left hand side. There's oh, we haven't done the top middle either. Oh, Look. yeah. Gotta be. Gotta be. Can't be any other way. What? It could be a ladder going up from somewhere else. Oh. Okay. We've checked everywhere around those. Yeah, now, so we somewhere. can leave that for now. We're going to do the left hand side now. Right, this is up. the only room we ain't done yet on these yep. anyway. Okay, there's going to be another step there, hopefully, if we're lucky. Big time hoping. Oh, I'm hoping this is the one that teleports us into the bottom layer. Yeah, got to sneak it off. Come on, this has got to port us to there now, surely. We've done basically everything in this map. I don't think there's a single room we haven't been across. Apart from the one that led down. The other, those two. This is here. Yeah, here we are. Are we here? No, we're at the top now. Yeah, oh. these are the rooms we couldn't get to. We actually, yeah. you know, we said, oh, it could be a step, didn't Be we? careful. And this <coughs> has, has to be has a to, teleport. Yeah. It has to be. Yep. Bastards! You have to kill these. Give us loads of hearts. Yeah. Right, this is going to put us two rooms down from the boss. You watch. What a maniacal dungeon. That's why I said it was a skull, didn't it? Because yep. it wasn't giving us the map until we understood that it was a skull. Oh. The end boss. Here we go. He's gone invisible. Left. Yeah, down. Right. It's not easy to know where this really is. Left, left, fire, fire, fire! Oh, it doesn't do anything. You've got four hearts. I'm going to die. There you are. He's changing his pattern as well. Ugh. This dungeon is easily the most ridiculous dungeon in the game. <laughs> <laughs> they put so much effort into this one dungeon. Have you done it? 
Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, it's red. <laughs> Gotta press something. He's dust now on the floor. That's all he is. Zelda. Uh. Uh. Can we put it out? I'm gonna use the full health potion. I'm not dying here. Just use the whistle or something, maybe. I'm still using the full health potion first. <laughs> I am not dying to some shitty little flame. Closed behind you as well. Oh, oh you, you can just, just smash it. <laughs> <laughs> what else? There two of them now. Oh fucking hell, that's a bit. That's the end. Hooray! Done. Okay, Rich, what do you think of the game? Well, it's obviously a classic, really, isn't it? And so far ahead of all of its competitors as well. Mm. I mean, a lot of people maybe go a bit too far saying it created a whole load of concepts here and there because a lot of the ideas in this had been seen before, but just not to this level, mm. you know? I was also thinking about the mini-map, actually. I sort of thought, has there been a mini-map in games? And then I remembered Impossible Mission has a mini map which is used in a similar fashion. It's basically the same thing, isn't you know, it? Because you've got yeah. like a, a, a section where you can see branches off of it mm -hmm. and then you can tell which rooms you have and haven't been to because you just slowly build the map as you go. Uh, obviously, you've got shops and character upgrades from sort of earlier RPGs. So there's not anything that is completely invented here, but it just does a fantastic job of taking all the best elements of piles of different games and creating a hole out of it and then play testing it to death. A lot of people sort of say this game is somewhat cryptic, but I, for the time, I don't really agree. We've already mentioned there's the dungeon hidden under the bush, but the bush is in a position where you would destroy it anyway, because yeah. it's suspicious. You got the last dungeon is in a rock, but then the map tells you to bomb the other rock. Mm. So, so why wouldn't you bomb this You rock? get a, an idea in your head. Whilst that isn't perfect, it's still something that you're going to do if you're stuck. You know, maybe it'll take a week or two. You know, Maybe you will be stuck for a while. But something like Fairlight or Tin and Nog, etc., etc., you can walk past those invisible walls forever mm -hmm. You know, and never find them. Not to mention another big element is that you can save the game here. You can keep saving your progress. Yeah. It's not like you get stuck in this and then have to redo the entire start of the game like oh, you do in no. other, other games yeah. like Fairlight to get to the section you're stuck and then try something new. I remember getting stuck in you Fairlight. Know. That that was nasty. It's a massive game as well, obviously without I mean it requires a save really because of how big the game is. Mm. It's it's huge in scope in comparison to to just about well, the majority of games that were around, especially in the action adventure genre. There were some games before it that had these sort, this sort of sign of greatness, but they weren't really in this genre. No. I'd say possibly Elite is a game that is quite massive oh, in scope, yes. which is a little bit uh, older than this, I think a year or two older than this. You can't judge them in the same kind of category. But they're very though. different they're types so of games, different. you know. I mean, obviously Elite's more about trading and, and sort of um, The only similarity is scope. Yeah, the yeah, that's the only similarity you can draw between and them. And there is a game called Lords of Midnight that's quite interesting, but that's more of a strategy game where you explore this big world. Presentation-wise, it's fantastic for the time. The music is fantastic. The graphics are, are pretty good as well, actually, for Especially the time. Especially for 86, yeah. For 1986. So what do you reckon, then? Well, it is just the ultimate classic, really, isn't it? A greatest game of its era. It takes every great element from all of those other games that came before it, and not only does it put it in, it makes it ten times better. Yeah. You know? It's not just, oh, I'm just going to poke this in here because it's a good element. Yeah. No, it, 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 it moulds the element into something much better and clearer yeah, and more precise. That's, and that's true. It might take the element and then think, wouldn't it work slightly better if I slightly changed the way it that It finesses is, it. You know? It does. It finesses and grows it. It's just a, oh, it's just a great game. The music is just... It, it still buzzes through my head every now and again. Yeah. And you can't understate what it began as well it generated all of this greatness that came on after it it's still quite fun to play as well you know just on its own merits yeah going back here sometimes you might go back to the first games and you think 
oh, it's a bit too crude or, you yeah. know, it, it's I don't think added that. too much to it. But this game still stands up on its own, yep. I think. I think all of the Legends of Zelda games do. So with that in mind, what are you going to score it? Well, I think it's obvious. Stupid really, question. It? <laughs> it's against the five out of five from me. <laughs> what do you reckon then? Well, I'm not sure, you know. I mean, speaking about all these things where they plagiarised everything yeah. from every... No, I'm joking. Yeah. I'm absolutely joking. There is no other score. It has to be a five out of five. This game is genre defining. Okay, guys, that's the Legend of Zelda this week. Oh, I can't even say anything more about this yeah, game. It's, it's great, great playing it again, game. actually. So much fun. And I haven't actually completed this until now. So seeing it in its full glory has just been fantastic for me. Anyway, guys, if you liked it, give us a like, give us a comment and tell us what you think about the game and subscribe to the channel because we're always releasing great new content like this. And I'll see you next week with another game, guys. Take care. See ya.